welcome back to the channel where we're checking out play to earn games and nft gaming happy new years to you and yours it is 2022 guys and we do have a considerable amount of leaks to get through so as we get into this video there's going to be some really cool content of alluvium that is coming we know we've seen from the actual design phase with the assets of them just being bases to now seeing movement to seeing a lot of development within that unreal engine which is very cool before we get into the video, go ahead and click the subscription button. We are over 1,500 subscribers already. That is right, guys. We are growing substantially, as well as the Discord and Alluvium, which we'll look at in just a little bit. So let's go ahead and we'll get into the video. So here we are, guys, looking at this amazing backdrop again. You can see just exactly how massive this world is going to be. Um, your, your little playable character right there with Mozart following you, of course. He is your trusty companion and sidekick. But you can see exactly how absolutely huge this is going to be guys now we start off with a couple leaks and again we, we've compiled the leaks ever since we started this actually months ago so you can see the enchanter and the mystic so a scion plus times and empathy so when you actually put these two alluvials together it will create kind of the subclass of an enchanter or a mystic depending if the bottom one is empath and empath and then it also breaks down the skills now the skills and abilities we have went through a couple times before um but ultimately, it's going to be interesting to see how this works together. And I know a lot of players and a lot of content creators have covered how this is going to work. And I want to see the, the big picture when it comes together with these skills. On Enchanter Omega Castle, that's kind of the ultimate ability. Shields all allies for 8 seconds for a percentage of the caster's max energy per Enchanter counter. Again, it, we're going to have to really break down how the actual Alluvium game is going to work. When we start seeing guides, when we start seeing, right now we're being fed kind of bits and pieces of information about how these are going to work, kind of a basis of how they're going to look like. Um, but one, we have to see which alluvials are falling in what class, and then also going to have to see exactly how this kind of works. I, I know the general concept and overall lying conditions, how it's going to work, but how it's going to change and how it is going to look when it actually comes out in the alluvia main game. Merry Christmas. I, I love this artwork, guys. You can see the little mole right down here and the um the, the deer over here. Very cool looking for the artwork on this one, guys. And then this is my absolute love, guys. This is Alluvium Zero. So as we know, Alluvium and Alluvium Zero are two separate games. Alluvium Zero is coming with the land sale, which should be this month. That's right, guys. Today is February, or excuse me, today is January um, 2022. So it should be this month. That's we're talking, you know, the 15th is what Kiernan has thrown it around. Thrown around. Um, we don't know if it's going to be mid, if it's going to be late. But when you look at here and looking at the structures, guys, there are a ton of structures. So this big building in the middle is, of course, the main building that is going to be the base. Um, the, the scanning systems that are in here, the collectors, the miners, the each one of these, I believe, is as we've looked at the things in the past. This is like one building, one building, one building, one building, one building. So, so you have a lot of one-offs here to build this base across your land. And again, a lot of these buildings are going to work on an efficiency system, meaning that if they are closer to, let's say, a power source, the building is going to have more efficiency. And on the building itself, Johnny has shared that it will show the efficiency rating of the building. So there could be a way where you could actually move some of these buildings to make them more efficient. You know, it says scanners are not going to be reliant on being around other buildings so moving them like to the to the ends of your land or the corners of your land might be beneficial where other buildings are going to be reliant on being close to other buildings but guys look at the design of this look at the build all of these are moving points we've seen a lot of the um a lot of the movement a lot of the little video feeds so all of these buildings are going to be brought to life with the animation of it and the functionality of it how it moves everything of that nature when it comes to building this and then also the lighting effects that go into this are crazy as well super stoked to see exactly how this is going to come out and how it's going to land this is another aluvatar so this one was actually dropped i love how it looks guys these are going to be the avatars now we have a land sale in january like i had said earlier february is supposed to be the aluvatars there are 10 as of right now um i believe this is number 11 i don't remember this one actually from the original aluvatars but the Illuvatars are going to be a very limited time, meaning this could be one of a Genesis Illuvatar. So once the Genesis pack or the Genesis Illuvatars are no longer available, 
Anyone who comes into Alluvium is going to be unable to pick up this Alluvatar short of buying it on a secondary market, which is usually at an increased price. So a lot of players are saving SILV for the Alluvatars as well as the Alluvium land itself or the Alluvium Zero land to go ahead and, and buy these out and, and build these out, guys. Now remember, there are a ton of people in Discord and a ton of players on Discord. There's only 100,000 pieces of land, and I really want to stress that. Um, a lot of players are looking to get into the land sale, and there are only 100,000 plots. Of that, the first land sale happening this month will only be 20,000 pieces of land. So if you're looking to get land, it's going to be kind of get in early, in my opinion, or you might absolutely miss out. Now this, I, I'm not exactly sure. It, it looks like it's almost like a valley, is my thought, is these are the mountains around the valley for this asset. Um, looking again at some of the plants, some of the design, and the absolute flawless look of these plants and in different zones they are going to look different i love this one guys he just looks like an absolute monster i love how they give us the modeling and the design and then they do the coloring aspect of it which looks phenomenal now we do have a lot of videos in here and again coming from the leaks so this one is actually the ranger nature glove so when you see right here on the top this is not the weapon this is the gloves itself you'll see a couple scenes where there is the weapon itself but this one is actually the gloves. It shows that it is the nature gloves. These are the air gloves as well. You can see, so the gloves are, are supposed to be incredibly rare from my understanding. Um, again, gonna have to really wait to see when it comes out and exactly what it looks like. So you have the weapons. These are the gloves itself when it comes to the build. And then the final one here is the earth gloves. So you see that one right in the top. It says that is the um, earth attack. So you can see this one's a little bit different too. So very cool to see the effects of the gloves. Again, as they continue to build, as they continue to add more on top of the game, the, the main game is looking absolutely phenomenal, guys. The star nose mole, the taunt. So he is going to be kind of a tank, which I love. I, I think he is very cool. Look at the sound that's in there. It is awesome to see the star nose mole. He, one of, I believe, 100 alluvials that we're going to have at the beginning just looks awesome. You can see the, the different camera angles and exactly how he's going to look, the dynamics of him. And I believe this is the phase one. I believe he gets quite a bit bigger. There's a little flower, pops right back out of the ground. They, I love how they put this together, guys. And there he goes. Poor star nose mole just died. And this is stage two, so this is actually the bigger, this is the upgraded version of that basic star mole that we just seen a second ago. So the upgraded version is coming, guys, walking into battle right there. Very cool to see the animation again on, on these. It is awesome to see. Now this one I love. These are the weapons. So looking just breaking it down over here on this left side, this was kind of like a shield ability, almost like a double-sided axe or shield ability. You can see here there is almost like a pole. And when we play this, you'll see a couple different ones. So there's the effects of the shield, but this is almost, it looks like a spear, sort of, maybe a staff. Back here, it looks like the same. It looks like they have like a one-handed staff or a one-handed spear, it almost looks like. But you can see the visual effects. When you're going to be in combat, this is how it's gonna look. But look at the explosions back here, guys. Right here, look at the daggers just going crazy here right in the middle. And right down here, it looks like almost a, a two-handed polearm, like it's a larger aspect of it. But you can see the cutting ability, the short-term range, and then the daggers right here in the middle, guys. It is absolutely awesome looking with the daggers. It, it seems like the daggers and the, the effect they have. And I'm going to play this one more time. You can see here, boom, it's like almost like a AoE damage, I'm assuming is what's going to be produced from that weapon. This is going to be, I'm assuming, single target. Again, looking at it, playing games for a majority of my life, that, that's kind of what it seems like to me. She's holding it in her right hand. It seems like it is going to be the single target damage. Daggers look like it's going to be right in the face. Um, up close and personal, where these are going to be more of a ranged aspect when it comes to the fighting. And the same with the shields over here. It almost looks like it's a right-sided shield playing more of like a defensive stance than anything as you can see them running through or if that is going to be the weapon they're going to fight with is going to be that defensive shield again 
Very cool to see, guys. Then here is the equipment. So this is the first sneak that we actually get to see the equipment. You can see here's a gun, here's a helmet. You can change the skin so you can actually select different skins. Different skins are gonna have different effects. Green helmet right there just started bubbles on your actually avatar character, which is awesome to see. Unequipping the helmet, of course, does not wear a helmet. Then you can change it to a bunch of different skins, which is gonna be very cool to see the, the equipment and how many different varieties and how many different things we're gonna be able to see when it comes to the, to the skins of these. Now guys, this guy, this is, I believe, the stage three of the mole. Um, the, the star mole, as you can see, the giant flower here. But look how absolutely breathtaking that is, guys. Remember, this is without the animation. This is without all of the the um, lighting effects that they put in there. It, it just looks absolutely phenomenal. Same with this one. This is, I believe, the Halcyon Sea, um, a, a alluvio from the Halcyon Sea, which it looks like a stage three. It is a giant crab, guys. Look how giant those claws are on this thing. It's going to be nuts to see exactly how big this is going to be. Then, of course, guys, your server is approaching its member size limit. The girl passed 250,000 members. You need to send in a request. That is right, guys. It is a, a quarter million members. We are at, I believe, 246,000 right now. Again, looking back to earlier in the video, there is 100,000 pieces of land. Right now, we have 250,000 members on Discord. Now, I, I know some of those are bots, wh what have you, but ultimately, the land is going to be scarce. So of that, we know 20,000 is coming out in this first land sale. Means 250,000 members, 20,000 pieces of land, really doing the math in there. Um, and then you narrow it down by the tiers that you're looking at, and then narrow it down by the zones that you're looking for. It's going to be super crazy when it comes to this land sale and seeing exactly how big it is going to be. Now, also remember, guys, the main game doesn't come out for a significant amount of time. I mean, we have months of leaks that are still coming before the main game comes out. Um, beta testing, hopefully coming pretty soon, but it is going to be a while. So if you buy the land now... You're going to be able to build the land, play around with the land, everything of that nature. The Aluvidex, you're not going to be able to take the fuel, sell the fuel, things of that nature. Main point of purchasing the land now is one, getting early, and then two, you can get blueprints. So the blueprints you're going to be able to get. I believe originally there were going to be 10 blueprints when the land comes out. I'm not sure if that still holds true. But ultimately, if you buy a piece of land early, you can farm up those blueprints, take the blueprints. So when the Alluvium, the main game launches you will already have 10 blueprints that you have available. Um, you can buy them, you can sell them, they're NFTs. That is the only thing that is going to stay from the original land sale um, when you're building on the land. So when the Alluvia main game launches, and I really like to stress this a lot, when the main game launches, Alluvium Zero Land is going to be wiped to ground zero to line up with the story. We have said this from the beginning, so do not spend you know a, a ton of time and effort in there really building it out. I know a lot of players will, but ultimately, there's going to be a point where you're going to have to start the entire game over, um, wh which kind of stinks. But ultimately, it's going to be awesome to see. Most games that I've seen, most NFT games, most pay-to-earn games, have released land and have zero function for the land. So I know Splinterlands, I know Axie Infinity. Um, when they did their land sale, they had no access to the land. You literally just held it in your wallet with absolutely no purpose, short of the value that it kind of, that it went up, honestly. They've really stressed on, they want you to be able to use the land when the land comes out. So we're gonna have a land sale after the three days. Shortly after that, you should be able to access the land and start playing Alluvium Zero, which, you know, they started calling it a mini game and it is far from a mini game, guys. It is going to be, in my opinion, a, a major, major part of Alluvium. Um, not only the revenue side from, you know, getting the fuel, selling it to the Illuvidex, things of that nature, but just from the base building aspect as well. So as new blueprints come out and things are released, you're going to be able to pick them up on the land, which is going to be awesome. Then you can sell them as the NFTs, which again is going to be very awesome to see. So guys, that'll do it for today's video. Again, happy new years to you and yours. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.